All right. Hello to my virtual first graders. Today we're going to be using our paints for the first time. Like I said in the intro video, if um, or intro to your art kit video, if you have your own paints, you can use your own paints. But it is this is how we're going to use the paints that I put into your art kit. Um, our artist is Alma Thomas, so we're going to start with a shape and then do dashed lines around it. So if you want to practice some dashed lines, a good way to do that is with a marker, maybe on a dry erase surface, um, you could do some dashed lines or what's called a broken line. So it could be a line and you skip a little, a line, you skip a little. The space between the lines should be pretty small. So when you curve the line, the space is still there, but the lines follow a new direction. So this is the type of line we're gonna be using as we paint, not dots, but more like dashed lines. All right, this paint needs a lot of waking up. So when you use it, it's dry. So what you need to do is dip your paintbrush in a little bit of water, and then you're gonna rub the paint a lot of times. See how my brush is sideways and not up and down? I'm going to rub it. If I need a little more water, I'm gonna rub, 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 rub. Like honestly, like 20 or more times until you start seeing color on your paintbrush. Then I'm going to do a shape. These are cool colors and these are warm colors. So think about cool and warm colors. Um, I'm gonna do a shape on the right side of my page. And if you start with cool colors, you're gonna to stick to cool colors on this side. If you do warm color, a warm color, you're gonna to stick to the warm color. So let's say, I'm gonna make this a circle instead. If it's too dry, I can add a little bit of water to my brush by dipping it in and smooth it out. All right, wash, wash, wash my brush that there's just plain water on it. I'm gonna try another color. Rub, rub, rub. Until my brush starts turning that color and then keep rubbing. Now that I have my shape, the next thing I'm doing is that dashed line. So I'm going to do a line, pick up my paintbrush, another line, and see how I'm turning the paper? That kind of helps. So that way my paintbrush doesn't have to move that much. All right, so like I said, I'm sticking to cool colors on this side of the paper. You can repeat colors. So you could do blue next. You could do another layer of green if you wanted to. But let's try cool colors on this one side. Purple is very stubborn. It might take a few minutes to get started, not minutes, but if it'll feel like it because it takes lots and lots of rubbing. I don't know why, it's just the way the purple was made. Sometimes I like to think of like the taking the metal part and scratching a little bit so that way it can get woken up. There we go. I'm starting to see some purple. Dash, 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 dash. Watch my brush. I think I'll go into pattern. So I'll do blue again. I need water to activate my paint. Rubbing on the side of the brush, not on the top. I don't want to jam it and give it a bad hair day. Dash, dash, and keep going until you touch the side of the paper. I could probably fit one more. Okay. 
if you did yours in a different place on the paper, it is okay. Just make sure it doesn't fill up the whole paper. Also, if you did warm colors first, that is also okay. All right. The next one I'm going to do is warm colors. And I'm going to choose a different shape. Right in the middle, this one, I'm going to do a rectangle. So the first is my shape, which is normal, and then I'm going to do those dashed lines. Try to do them close to the shape and close to each other when you make the dashes. If the color is too streaky, dip your paintbrush in the water. If it is too light, like I just did, I dip, I rubbed it back on the paint to get more color. There we go. And I want to go until it is right next to my first shape. If you end up doing one that's really far away from the row you just did, you can s s get a little tiny row in between by squeezing it in there. Let's see here. Yellow, orange, red. And these are, remember, my warm colors. Colors that remind me of the sun and heat. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, what do I do with the rest of the space? Especially if you, if you have a lot of space. That's a great question. So on the rest of the space, we're going to add a few more lines of color. You can choose what colors that you want to use. They could be warm or cool. But the rule is you should still dash them and they should still kind of float around the other line. So watch this. I'm gonna start here next to it like a circle but this time, I'm going to also go around my rectangle. Kind of like it's driving and it's trying not to hit the other shape. Take my other one. I'm going to go ahead and do blue. I'm going to start like I'm going around my circle. And then I'm going to go and drive around it. I have some room to drive there, so I'm going to do another color. Hmm. I think since I did another cool color up here to make it kind of different, I'm gonna do another warm color. So you can decide how you wanna do it, but try to fill your paper with lines that don't quite touch each other. That's okay if some of them are on the edge of the paper. All right, when you are done, this is very important. We're gonna use these again. So please, 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 please do not throw them away. What I need you to do is you're going to take a tissue or a paper towel and pause if you're not ready. But when you are ready, you're gonna take a tissue or paper towel and you're going to lay it on top. So not rubbing it, but laying it on top and then you're going to pat it. So that way you see the water is coming through. So 
so the paper towel or the tissue is not moving, but my hands are moving to press it into the wet spots. Peel it off gently, and this should be kind of dry. If you have time to let this dry, that would be best. Um, but if you don't, just what's called blot it until it is dry enough to put back into your specials folder or your special bag. So you're going to take the bag it came in, you are going to make sure that they're not touching like that face to face. You can put them back to back or you can stack them and put them back in the bag they came in because like I said, these are reusable. There's still paint on it that we can use. All right. There is our Alma Thomas inspired shapes. I hope you enjoyed using your palettes if you had a chance to. Um, like I said though at the beginning, if you don't have the palettes, you can use what you have at home. Uh, if you don't have anything at home to paint with, you can always use coloring materials. But I hope you got a chance to use these and I hope you have fun creating.